Since 2009, this original foray into applying hyperbaric oxygen therapy to veterans with traumatic brain injury and PTSD has expanded worldwide with multiple studies. The original cases began here. Actually, the first case at Walter Reed, based on the protocols established here in the early 1990s, originally with divers, but then patients with other forms of chronic brain injury. That Brigadier General experienced significant improvement. Shortly after, we had a veteran who answered a call or statement I made that got picked up by USA Today that we would treat veterans for free at this little clinic that we had in Marrero, Louisiana, where all the research, all the experience on treatment of neurological conditions began. First, based on Dr. Neubauer's work, and then with Dr. Van Meter, Dr. Staub, and others here, we began this project and had a small series of veterans treated in 2008 and 2009 that confirmed what happened with that patient who answered the call in USA Today, where we showed you could treat PTSD. After 25 treatments, his PTSD was gone. And he had this for three and a half years, terrible nightmares and all the other symptoms that characterize PTSD. We self-funded a veteran study performed here at this little clinic with 30 veterans and had dramatic improvements where nothing else had worked for these veterans. 26 of the 30 had PTSD. They had improvements in their PTSD, traumatic brain injury, cognition, reduction in depression and anxiety, just global improvement. All of that work spawned the Department of Defense, plus all of the advocacy done by Dr. Bill Duncan, Mr. Marty Hoffman, ex-Secretary of the Army, myself and others in Washington, to get congressional representatives in the House and Senate to stimulate the military with funding that translated to a consensus conference held by the Department of Defense in, on December 5th and 6th of 2008. And then that spawned a whole series of Department of Defense studies and international studies as well. The net outcome of all of that was published two and a half years ago in 2022 in a systematic review showing that hyperbaric oxygen for mild traumatic brain injury and PTSD is level one evidence, the highest level of evidence in medicine, and it's a grade A practice recommendation, which means this should be delivered to a person with mild traumatic brain injury plus minus PTSD, unless there's a compelling reason not to. Further, there are now 10 states that have passed legislation funding the treatment of hyperbaric oxygen for TBI and PTSD in veterans. Last year, we published a systematic review on the hyperbaric oxygen therapy evidence for PTSD alone. It shows that PTSD is effectively treated by hyperbaric oxygen and should be a standard of care. It's the highest level of evidence. This has come a long way, and it's now reached international proportions. We're now having patients getting insurance reimbursement for treatment of traumatic brain injury with hyperbaric oxygen. And we're hoping that it's going to continue to evolve and eventually become mainstream and be picked up by all the insurance companies and even Medicare and Medicaid.